question number seven. The points E, Q, R are collinear. Collinear means that they lie on one straight line. If all these points are on straight line, for example, these are those three points, so the gradient must be same. So if I write gradient of P, Q, gradient of P, Q, gradient of P, Q, may I say gradient of P, Q is equals to gradient of Q, R, gradient of Q, R, and I'm solving them parallel. In this case, it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You can also solve them separately. PQ using PQ y2 minus y1 is minus 2 minus minus 3 over x2 minus x1 is 3 minus 2. And on the other side, when we solve for QR, this is y2 minus y1 is z minus minus 2 over x2 minus x1 is 8 minus 3. Any confusion, tell now where this 2, 3, 8, z is coming from. Okay, then the next part is only simplification. As you can see, there are all the numbers are given, only z is unknown. So, minus 2 minus minus 3 is plus 1 by 1 is equals to this is z plus 2 over 5 cross multiply 5 is equals to z plus 2 so z is equals to 3 this is what collinear means is it clear okay sir yes sir and uh, so is the case with question 8 the line joining the two points has a gradient of 2 to find the two possible values of t we use this. This is two comma t. Two comma t, and seven comma two t square plus seven. So we have these two points and the gradient is given that is 2. So when we are talking about the gradient, the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The gradient is already given, just substitute it. y2, be careful with this one, t square plus 7 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So just have to simplify this. We are doing gradient coordinate but uh, we'll be solving it with help of quadratics so that is 2 is equals to 2 t square minus t plus 7 over 5 multiply this on the other side this is 2 t square minus t plus 7 is equals to 10 rearrange 2 t square minus t plus 7 minus 10 is equals to 0 2 t square minus t minus 3 is equals to 0. Then factors for 2 and 3 is 6 is 2 into 3. 2 t square minus 3 t plus 2 t minus 3 is equals to 0. Any confusion in this midterm breaking? No, sir. Take out common. This is 2 t. We left with t minus 3 plus 2. Uh, no. 2, 2 common yeah. so this is only t sir sir question like you can 2t sir 2t square plus 2t minus 3t minus 3 then that common will come yes yes same answer sign me we are saying t plus 1 times 2t minus 3 is equals to 0 so once t is equals to minus 1 and the other t is equals to 3 by 2 so the main concept is this these two steps first one it is talking about the gradient just write the formula second is the correct substitution of these points and the gradient in the formula the remaining is the simplification part and the equation turned out to be quadratic 
we solved it with help of chapter 1 ठीक है दोबारा कर देते m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 I'm using this highlighter this is x1 in yellow and in pink this is x2 and in light blue this is y1 and in green this is y2 you can also write this if you are confused this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 now look closely y2 this is y2 coming from here and this is y1 coming from here is it clear now in same yes, way sir. Yes, sir. Here, this x2 comes here and x1 is coming from here if you are confused you can always write this for example the question is that you have two points a is 2 comma 3 and b is 9 comma 12 so if you have any confusion you can write it x1 y1 and x2 y2 now use the formula this is just for 2 to 3 questions you will be comfortable with it y2 y1 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 I don't have to think because I've already written it. So 12 minus 3 divided by 9 minus 2. So 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. So 9 by 7 is your answer. Thank you, sir. Here. But if this is it for today. I'm still here. If you need to ask anything from these questions or the previous task, and we'll so start. Sir, sir, question. Sir, question. सर ये एक क्वेश्चन है सर x स्क्वायर प्लस 9x माइनस 1 x स्क्वायर प्लस 9x माइनस 1 माइनस 1 इक्वल्स टू 2 सर इसको क्वाड्रेटिक सॉरी कंप्लीटिंग सोर्स से सॉल्व करना है ठीक है मैं अभी कर देता हूं